Hi everyone, Messi Coda back again inside Unity with another review. This time it is Moonmark's Deadly Dungeon Traps. It's available on the Unity Asset Store. If you want to buy some beautiful looking traps, well, this is back for you. Because you don't only get beautiful models, wonderful textures, but you also get fantastic code. So you can make any kind of deadly trap. Oh, they're going to get you. So sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you all in a second. Hello my beautiful badges, Messy Code is back inside Unity. This time I'm playing with Runemark Studios Deadly Dungeon Traps. I love this. I'm gonna give away yeah, I love it. I'm gonna give away. Spoiler, spoiler, try at the start. I love this pack. Not only because we get a load of beautiful models, but also because we get some clever scripts as well. This pack has got 40 plus pre-built traps, but only that, not only that, and look at them, they are lovely. If you pop over to the traps you can see we've got trap scripts that allows you to fully customize the different traps and if you open up the trap scripts you can even learn how to do this and you can just replace these traps with your own traps or other models that you decide to get it's beautiful and there's loads loads in this pack we've got here trap slots and models are outstandingly pretty, I have to say. The price alone for the models is great, but when you put into that, the true gem of this is the scripts, the procedural animations, the allowing you to basically have full control over everything. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Let's just, let me just flip over to the other view. Hang on. Layout. Object view. Now, look at them. They are lovely. Look here, look, this is what I wanted to show you. Look at that. It's lovely. Really feels old. As I say, it's not just it's not just the models. It's the fact that you also get the scripts in this pack as well. And you've got this little debug here to help you. Let me pop back into the other view. So we've got integrated dam uh, damage system into this as well. So you can hook in and get, oh hang on, let's make it big. Why is it so small? You need it nice and big. I'm going to pretend like this is a game and I'm going to run through everything here. First off, uh, it was fun playing about inside the editor looking at textures, but once you go in you really appreciate the quality of the textures and the models as well. Now this is supposed to be a model pack with the scripts thrown in so you can actually work. However, I feel it's two packs in one really. And you also get the damage script and the damage logic so you can take damage. But for now, we go, oh, oh, that's all we get. So I'm going to pretend like it's on. It would not be nice if this demo actually had it on and you could do a little mini game out of it. My word, look at that snake. It is beautiful. Look at that. That is lovely. That is lovely. Right, let's go and jump through. Let's do this. Oh, we made it. We made it. And there it is, going up and down. Now, one thing I would say, um, it probably would be good to have cuts in this stone. To make it goes up and down, so otherwise it just looks like it's floating. So like these bits here, like those bits, there, we can just add those because you get the brick pieces are separate prefabs so that you can just add together and make it yourself. Oh, I, I will end up doing that myself. Okay, we've got to get past these swipey ones. One, 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 go! Yes, we made it! There's a spikes down the bottom, you don't want to fall in there. Okay, he's a swing in. Swing. 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 Go. Right, we've made it. Lovely. Oh, that would have squashed us. That would have squashed us. We're okay. We made it. Right, what have we got here? Oh, that looks lovely. Got the old gold in there. What was that? That is. That's the old gold that's been. Oh, I went for it. Hang on. 
as I don't collide one there. Okay, we'll have to add one on there. It's building out a little sounds up. Hold on. Zoom. Zoom. Going out there. And just want to run across. Okay. Look at that texture. It is beautiful. That is lovely. It really is. I mean, that, I'll just use it myself in other stuff. Also, the stonework. It's fantastic. I mean, the art in this pack is lovely. I keep on getting distracted by the, the scripts and the traps themselves. But it's just the models and the textures are lovely. Well, let's go. Oh, that wasn't long enough. That wasn't long enough. Okay, let's do this. Right, we've managed to get through that one. And here it is. There's our prize at the end of the tunnel. Oh, look at that. Here we go. This is what I was talking about. These bits here. We can take these ourselves and put it down at the start with that slidey uppy, spiky roll. Is okay. Let's do this. We can make it. We can make it through. Let's go. And flame on. So you get not only do you get these lovely swinging traps, lots of traps. You get flames. You get. Oh, hang on. That didn't hit us. That didn't count. That didn't count. Swinging, swinging. Oh, that, that okay. That a little bit of a nick. I'll go on. I'll give you that one. That was a little bit of a nick. But that, that you can. That's a little bit of a nick. We've made it. We've got. Our, we've got our treasure. We've got our treasure. And we've got our snowflakes. We. Okay, now we've got, let's go, go back with our treasure. All right, let's do this better. Okay. Swing, swing. We made it. We made it. Now let's do this. Okay. Oh, I think we might have got hit by that dart. Oh, we might have got squashed. This is all going pear shaped. Oh, we just got slapped. Oh, we just got stabbed. There's the slidey. See, that's what I was talking about. Adding those bits there. Because it just feels like it's been held up by magic. Or magnets. Magic magnets. Could be. And there is another gold ball. Give it to the snake. Yum, yum, yum. He loves that balls. Oh, we managed to escape with our family jewels. Oh, a little bit of fighting going on there. And back through these swipey things. And there's no ladder to get out. We're stuck. We're actually going to sleep in here forever. Maybe that's what the big ball at the end was. Supposed to teleport us out to get us home. Never mind. Let's delve about inside the pack and have a little bit of a play. This is beautiful. It is fantastic. I love it. I really do. I'm mean, highly impressed. Do I recommend it? Hell yeah, I do recommend it. I recommend this. It is lovely. So you've got the script there. This is the rotating trap animator that's called into this mechanism here. And look at it. You can, you can, you can assume it's rotating. Disarm boxes. Oh, well, that looks pretty. Yeah, let's open up that box. We'll see what's inside. Let's open up that box and see what's inside. Let's see what's inside. Let's go to the normal view. Here we go. So we've got the gears. Where's the door? The top. Let's just be cheeky and open it up. Oh, hang on. Where's our pivot? There it is. Boop. And we've got all these wonderful gears inside. Gears of traps. Piercing ones. Oh, yeah. Those poking up from below, poking from the side, very painful. Projectile, ones that spit at you. Lovely. Oh, lovely. Smashing traps. Just, oh my word. Look, imagine that, just smashing you in the face. Oh, and there you're getting squished between them. All these lovely switches. Is. Oh, that one's lovely. Look at that. Oh, I want to play with that one. I want to play with you. Here we go. I'm just going to play about with another demo. So this one's called Traps Assembly Test. Uh, we can guess what's going to happen here. We're going to tread on here. Oh, Deanna Jones. Run in the... Nice. What's this one going to be? You've activated the spike trap. 
E to toggle. There you go. On and off. Poke. And we've got this one. Oh. Oh, lovely. Oh, this one, once you've done it, you can't undo it. Interesting. Okay, you turn off. Making a lot of noise, it was. What's this? One, two, three. Okay. Let's try this one. Two, eight. All right. Love those cogs. Odd. Odd. That's how you turn it off. One, two, three. Now. Oh! This spear trap cannot be deactivated manually. Let's wait until it runs out of ammo. Interesting. Okay, is there any around the back? No. Is there any more around the back? That's lovely. Nice little sequence there showing us what to expect. I wonder if there's any gold. No, there's no gold around there. Oh, lovely. So if we look at the disarm box mechanic, you can see this trap trigger script here. And it's got a lot of shenanigans going on. It's got action here, deactivate, activate or toggle, cooldown, tag filter. That's nice. That is nice. I like that. There's still that idea. Tag filter. Write that down. Tag filter. I like that. And we've got here the events. Disarm. Activate. Okay. Oh look. Uh, where's that one? That is this one here. This arm gears. And that's his activators in there. I got a lot. Let's minimize that. Don't need that. So it's easy to customize and play about with this without having to do any coding yet still allows you to hook in and make use of these in your own scripts let's see another one let's have a look at that big ball that big ball boulder trap it's got the boulder trap trap physics and then we've got here there's this this one here activate deactivate activate deactivate so we've got a dust trail and the boulder trap play once it's so one time only and then a decay. This is why it disappeared. Lovely. This is beautiful. See? I mean, this is how this is how it should be. I'm, I find it very difficult to make these editors. Yeah. I'm going to now send lots of emails to Runemark asking them where do they learn all this stuff. I'm going to sit here and read these editor files and learn how they've done this magic. There's a lot in this pack to learn. There's a lot in this pack to learn not only about scripting for your traps, beautiful models and textures, but also funky editor scripts that you can have a look about as well. And there's also a friendly little readme PDF. And in here, you just got a little overview of what you're getting. And also down, down here, you've got a link to the YouTube, also a link to the online documentation, the contact page and the Unity forums. If you go to their online documentation, you've got online help here for how to use everything it's it's short and sweet gets to the point I would like to have seen comments in the code saying that it is easy enough to understand other than that I think this pack is lovely highly recommend it and I suggest you start thinking about what traps you can lay for those coming to snatch your family jewels. So if you do like these videos and want to see more, click on that big juicy red subscribe button down below. It's all of your friends, random people on the street. If you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.